Good morning. Welcome to Churchill County Library Storytime. Our book today is Where the Wild Things Are. Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. And we're reading this book today with permission from HarperCollins Publishers. This is a special story time because you have some things to do along with me at home. So when you hear the, a word that begins with M, stand up if you're sitting down or sit down if you're standing. And then when you hear the words the end, you need to turn around three times and clap. Okay, and Joe's going to do it with us. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up, and he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Do you think Max was having a dream? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And they're dancing and hopping all around. Now they're climbing on those trees. And now it looks like they're having a monster parade. Now stop, Max said, <clears throat> and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him most of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws but Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that story time, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to pick up your project from the library or at the CARE or HERO program. Thank you.